All right, guys. So today I got this uh, this unique project right here. Hey, you know what? For some of you guys out there that said, call me like, you know, I know everything and I, you know, hey, I've never heard of a Wheeler. This is the first time. This is, this is, looks like a, what, kind of like a GT Performer. But guys, this is aluminum. If any of you guys ever have one of these or have any info on this, own one of these, dude, chime in, chime in, because I've never seen one of these things. But it looks like it's look good quality. It's got the, the GT Performer bend, it's got the platform. But what I'm gonna show you to do today is Look at this dropout. I'm not gonna fix the dropout, even though it's all beat up, but have you guys ever been in a situation where you have a, a really cool frame, but the dropout's 3 8 So you wanna run like, like more of the modern day hub, because this is an old school frame, it doesn't fit. Look at, I mean, look how big it is. So I know some of you guys have seen really, really bad hack job where people grind it and all that. Yeah, we're gonna grind it too, but I'm gonna show you what we do to make it a little bit cleaner, okay? So that would allow you to run more of the modern wheels uh, that runs 3 8 and it'll give you way more options. And um, yeah, so let me, let me show you what we're going to do. Yeah, you know what? <laughs> I meant modern day 14, not 3 8 so yeah, you know, it's past week I've been sick, so Kind of, kind of still out of it. So, here we have the the three eighths. What we're gonna do is we're going to make it fourteen. Slide right in, real clean. Versus this. So, if you guys look real carefully, it looks like a really hack job, but all the scratches and all that didn't come from us. Everything else came from us. It's real smooth. You see the radius? Where it's pitted, we didn't want to go any further because the previous person was trying to grind it. And so we didn't want to go any deeper because look how thin this is. So if you look at the radius, we stop right where the radius is. So, some of the tools that we use is, first of all, we're gonna go, go get out of my back pocket, a 3 8 <laughs> see I'm saying, a 14 mil axle. And the way I measure this is what I do, some of you guys might think, just we're just gonna grind one side and we're gonna leave one side straight. Yeah, there's a lot of grinding involved and stuff like that and what I like to do is, I like to place this thing right on top, so it's center. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a scoring tool. I just happened to have a razor blade because we've been sitting here just, you know, chopping powder up. So what I do is I try to keep this thing as level as possible and I'm just gonna score it. Pretty ghetto, but you know what, it works. Then I'm gonna go this side. I'm gonna score it. Now, I don't know if you guys can see that. There's a real faint line. It's like right about right there. And right here, there's a faint scratch line right here. I apologize because the frame is beat up and you can't see it, but normally when I do this for other people and it's, it's clean paint, you can see the thin line. The reason why I use a razor blade is because I can get the thinnest line without taking a file and trying to make the line, the line gets fat, so. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna get a sander. So we're gonna go in and I'm going to sand this and I'm gonna keep an eye on that, okay? Yes, guys, I did get something in my eye like a month ago and it was pretty bad. So we're gonna go. Oh, I forgot. This is 80 grit. I do have 30, but I'm gonna play with this first because it's so little and I'm gonna see if I change it. I like to use the 80 because it's a little bit more control. And then I'm gonna sand it, you're gonna, you're gonna look. So a lot of times, you guys are grinding, you guys are grinding like this, and the dropout's gonna be like this. So sometimes you have to keep it here and you can see how straight it is. Now guys, be patient. A lot of you guys just go and you guys lean into it. Do it a little bit, and then look at that line, look at that line, okay? 
So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go a little bit on top, a little bit on the bottom, okay? I'm not gonna go and film this whole thing for you, but I'm just gonna go, and I'm gonna go ahead and do it, and now we'll come back. Okay, so if you guys can see, it's not pretty, it's not pretty, but my main thing is I, I wanted to remove as much material as possible with that, with that tool, and then every once in a while I wanna take my axle, look, my axle fits in it now. You can see, but it's not all the way. Okay? But I can see how it's in, in here is a little bit smaller because my sander can't get in. That's where my file, I'm gonna go in and... Your pedal file? Yeah, yeah, my pedal file. So, if you guys look, if I put this here, it's a little bit out of shape, so that's where this tool comes in. If you guys look, I'm gonna go in with the file, and you're gonna start filing it straight. Now, when you guys look, all I did was run at the file there maybe about a dozen times, and you guys already see it's flattening all the little grind marks I did, okay? Because I'm not no master grinder. Well, depends on who you ask. So, you just go and you just Work on that until you get it straight and flattened out. Every once in a while, put this in and test it. But you want to do a little bit on top, a little bit on the bottom. There is still a light, light score line. You, I can still see, it's like right here. Can you guys see that? There's a light score line. That's where we scored earlier, so I still got room to play with. So I'm gonna go in, and I'm going to file this thing down. Okay, so hold on tight. And I don't think I have any bone that's I'll be right back. Like yeah, see how I'm kind of, not just going one spot, but I kind of push it forward. It's it's pretty flat, okay? Then I have this. You guys can see it almost lay. Come back here, Max. It almost lays inside. It's just a little bit more. So, what I'm gonna do is, you notice how it's squared? Cause that's where the file is. This part right here. So the next tool I have is I have a Dremel, guys. This Dremel here, I, I, I it's older than you, Max. Crazy. Okay, this is one of the OG ones. I love this thing. Best gift my wife gave me. So what I have on here is I have a diamond barrel sander. Now I know some of you guys have seen like like the the regular non-diamond one. I don't know what 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 was this material called. But that one is a little bit bigger than a 14. This one right here is exactly 14, okay? Trust me, we measured it, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna slowly go in. And look, you can see it kinda, kinda almost go in. So we're gonna go in and we're going to clear it out and then we're gonna get in here and we're gonna shape it so it's round, okay? You see, look, keep in mind guys, all this is from the previous owner. See how that little round area right there, real clean? That's what this thing did. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna try to get it all the way in. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work this, turn it on, and I'm gonna slowly work it, work it, inside, inside and out, and then I'm gonna slowly on, on, on low. Work it in, work it in until I get in there, okay? I'm gonna go outside, cause this thing, it's so fine that when I grind it, it's just putting up a, like just dust and it's getting all the place in there. So, you watch, on low. Slowly. Take your time. And you see how you see how I'm slowly going in. Take your time on low and just work it in. Now, if you guys don't have one of these, then the best thing I can do is tell you is to use the file and just a couple of a stroke like that, measure it. Whatever you do here, if you do one, two, one, two. Now you're at the point where just one or two, it takes off a lot. Do that. How do you get this round? Get yourself a round fa uh, file, which is a, what they call like a rat tail, and file that. If not, if you have a Dremel, we'll get yourself one of those barrel adjusters. 
It's the best tool. I've done plenty of these like this, okay? So I'm gonna get started on this and I'm gonna come back and we're gonna test fit this. Okay, this is probably the best part of it because I'm getting closer in. Okay, see how that right there, the, the previous owner grinded all that, grinded all that? Because again, I'm gonna remind you, the dropout used to be right here. And they wanted to, for some reason, make it deeper in to shorten the wheelbase, so they grinded it. There's no point of me using the barrel to go in deeper, because all I'm gonna do is weaken this. So there's that little high ridge, I'm just gonna keep it right there. I'm gonna go into maybe a little notch, so look. Okay, and then watch. Now what I'm gonna do, look at this. See how I touch? I'm gonna bo bo both of these. And, I, and just by going like this, you see how you see how you can see the scratches right in the middle. This one's is off to the side. That mean that mean this is a little bit slow. So remember, when I did it, I kind of gave myself a little bit of uh, space so I could do this. Hey guys, look at it, flat, flat, clean right here. I mean. Some of you guys just gonna not be able to, 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 to withstand seeing all this, but again, guys, I didn't do that. I'm just trying to make the best out of just a, a disaster. But you see how the radius? I'm just gonna stop because I don't want to ruin this. Now look, here's my 14 mil axle. Clean. Just a little bit right here. You don't want it to get stuck. This is perfect. So, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna clean this up a little bit, just a couple more, and then uh, I'll show you the final product, okay guys? There you guys have it. Got the radius right inside. Now if I really wanted to, I could just run that barrel all the way into end until all this is gone. But, seeing how the previous owner already took a lot of the metal from this. I, I, don't, I don't want to go that much closer. I could if you wanted to make it look clean and you're not going to really care about the, the, the strength of it, then yeah, we could go all in and it'll look factory. So there you guys have it. If you guys have any 3 8 frame and you want to open it to a 14, I hope that helps. Real simple. What you need is just a 14 axle some sort of grinder, sander, I have this little DeWall one, this thing's really done, uh, uh, what is it, Milwaukee? The file and the, uh, the, barrel, the barrel sander. It's that simple. And uh, you guys got any question, comment in. Anybody's got a better idea to do this? Or whatever, like you guys have done it in the past and you guys completely destroyed some bad, bad and good memory. Hey, don't be one of those guys, oh hey man, why don't you just go, go to NASA and give them, nobody's got the capability. I'm talking about just regular DIY stuff and this is how we've been doing it for years. Look at that, look at the clearance. All right guys, thank you for tuning in. Subscribe, comment, and let me know what's up with this Wheeler stuff. I, I don't know, I have no idea what it is.